I waited until the season 4 finale of The Boys to confirm my suspicion of Starlight as a suit. Now that it's over, I can finally and barely say, Starlight is dog water. Since The Boys' inception, there's always been this looming and constant threat of the Homelander and his sycophants. In a world of this ultimate super tyrant, it's only natural that in the plot for the main cast to get stronger over time, to match or surpass the power of the antagonist. Now, granted, this doesn't have to just be physical strength, by the way, but let's let's be real. Just because Huey gains clarity on something doesn't mean he can now take on Black Noir. So, of course, physical strength would be the preference in a world like The Boys. On top of superhuman strength, durability, speed, and the ability of flight, which is a big deal in the universe. We're not equals. You're pathetic. I can't even fly for God's sakes. Starlight has photon kinesis, meaning she can absorb electricity or photons from nearby sources and output energy for her own light-based attacks. Literal light manipulation by a suit that lives in the busiest city in the world, full of electrical sources. Barring the fastest soups, nobody should be able to react to her seemingly apparent light speed attacks. She should theoretically be top two in the seven organization, which is just their bootleg justice league instead she's the weakest let's not get ahead of ourselves this is me considering when her powers decide to even work starlight is unique amongst her superiors in that her powers randomly goes on a five week all expenses paid trip to the bahamas literally no other suit goes through the dilemma of their powers being temporarily deactivated except a train with his cardiac problems and no it's not lost to me that her powers start to waver when when her mental state or morale is compromised. But we've seen people like Queen Maeve go through just as much character development with no superpower degradation. Hell, A-Train in season 4 has gone through the best character development in the entirety of the show, and he can still blitz the entire cast, except Homelander of course. So. What's the hold up on Annie? Quick side note, remember that one time Starlight absorbed all this energy in Vault Tower just to fucking love tap Soldier Boy? Her eyes glowing. She's levitating in the air. I'm holding my breath. Oh shit, this is it. She's about to kill Soldier Boy. And then she fell on the ground like, like she was really tough. That shit was not tough. It was not cold. She's not her. All that energy to push him back 10 feet, bruh. Whose mans is this? I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna make something clear. It's not just me who notices how useless she is in the story right now. In the actual The Boys verse, her powers have become a gimmick. Nobody takes her serious as of season four. Oh my. Oh yes. That is adorable. Especially baby girl Victoria Newman. She's so bad. Put him away. Not gonna hurt you. Or Huey or your families. Besides you'd lose. Seemingly every encounter they had, Newman let her know that she's garbage. And at any point, she could delete her from the fabric of reality. Who the fuck's Samir? Enough. So, you brought in Samir. Now, I ain't gonna lie, Starlight did drop her motherfucking ass right here, but it was a sneak. And two, Newman didn't even register it as a threat for real. She, she, she just kept it pushing. Yeah, you really got your shit locked down. The Deep dropped Annie off in 1v1 with his aquatic based powers on land in the middle of New York. When Butcher was having his Tyler Durden moment, he made sure to exclude Starlight from the effective soup category and only recognized Kimiko. Do you the two soups on your side? All right, I'll give you Starlight. But Kimiko's a bloody good weapon. She did bang out with the shapeshifter in season four as well. Another side note, as somebody who does train jujitsu, what kind of fucking bulldog choke was this? One, look how much room was left there for the shapeshifter to breathe. Okay, sure, let's say Annie had perfect form. She immediately let go of the shapeshifter after she passed out. And somehow we're supposed to now believe that the shapeshifter has died. Also in the same season, she did hit firecracker with that. So you finally came to the- 
Ugh. Now, I could be wrong, but I can only count two times in all of season four when she had access to her powers. Literal episode one of season four when she drains this building of electricity to hover eight stories. And then the final episode of the season when she flies and dips out against Cindy. That shit was hard, but I ain't gonna lie. That, that shit was hard. But the problem with that scene is it gives us a glimpse of how Starlight should have been moving the entire show. This is how she should be. Her powers are cold. She should be cold. I love Annie January's character. She's a breath of fresh air to have a suit with actual good intentions. All I'm saying is it would have been even better if she was a suit that was actually strong. I'm gonna end the yap session there. So do me a quick favor if you made it here. Drop a like or dislike if you did or didn't mess with the video as this gives me a gauge on what content should be prioritized in the future. As always, I humbly appreciate every one of you that interact or just watch my videos. Quick shout out to these comments here on my previous video to the subject of morale significance to the Chimera Ant art. That's all and be superior than yesterday.